Hello my dear family members i hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming campus drive or off campus drive today what i have planned to upload that is zeta coding questions and this is very important coding questions which was asked repeatedly in two days so let me share the coding question okay as before that please do subscribe this channel so that i'll be motivated to make more content for you only okay so uh, please visit uh instagram.com slash techno dot uf or youtube.com slash techno uf they are just do subscribe and do follow so that i'll be motivated to make more content and you will guys get the updated content for yourself only okay so let me set that content for today that is this so the question is given an array arr representing n piles of apples rio can set his eating speed to t apples per hour okay t apple per hour in each hour he selects some piles and eats t apples from each pile if a pile has fewer than t apples he eats all the apples in that pile and does not eat from it again in that hour rio wants to finish eating all the apples in exactly k hours determine the smallest integer t such that he can eat all the apples within k hours okay so let me just explain what uh, the questions asked okay so before that just let me tell you the input format the first line contains an integer n the number of piles the next n lines contain n integers where each integer represents the number of apples in a pile the last line contains an integer k the maximum number of hours you has to eat all the apples okay so let me just share the sample input so that it will be easier to understand sorry understand okay so output format is this print the smallest integer t such that you can eat all the apples in k hours if it is impossible then print in minus one so four is the number of uh, integers three is the first file apples six is the number of apples in second piles third piles fourth piles and this is the number of hours by which rio has to eat okay and the uh, number of hours must not exceed than this eight hours okay and output is for why let me explain that okay so three right so if i divide all these uh, like let's say this is the three and um, like this is the number of piles inside number of apples inside the first file right so if if the value of t is equal to four then he can eat four apples in one hour okay so this is the first pile numbers so he can eat all these three apple in one hour because his ability is he can eat a four apples in one hour and this is the six right so he can eat all four apples in one hour and in second hour he needs to eat two apples okay and for the seven he can eat four apples in one hour first hour and the three apples in the second hour so he needs two hours here as well so and for 11 here he can eat four, uh, eight apples in two hours eight apples in two hours and rest of the three apples in the third hour so three hours will be required to eat these apples okay so how many hours required one plus two plus two plus three that is five plus three eight so eight hours is required and it is uh, like the inside our condition that is number of hours must not exit this value this is the explained here like uh, this eight required hours must not exit this hour okay so now the condition is true now this value of t should be returned as the output okay let me give you another example so that it will be easier to understand let's say if if the number of piles is 5 and the sample inputs or sample inputs of piles that is 2 4 6 8 10 okay and how can you proceed to find the value of t how can you find to uh, find the value of t so you have to find the value of t right so for that and also here uh, it is mentioned that uh, 5 is the hours and the like to eat all the apples you must not exit this hour like within five hours you have to eat okay so how to find the value of t that is you can use the binary search process binary search so where you can assign 
द लेफ्ट वैल्यू एज इक्वल टू मिनिमम नंबर दैट इज लेट से वन एंड द राइट वैल्यू यू कैन असाइन दिस एज द मैक्स वैल्यू ऑफ दिस एरे मैक्स वैल्यू ऑफ दिस एरे विल बी इक्वल टू टेन इन दिस केस नाउ नाउ वट यू कैन लेट से रिजल्ट इज अनदर वेरिएबल विच विल बी इक्वल टू लेट से आर राइट ओके यू हैव टू इन द मीन टाइम यू हैव टू रिमाइंड ऑल्सो दैट यू हैव टू फाइंड द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ एपल्स यू कैन ईट इन वन आवर राइट लेट से इन दिस केस यू कैन चूज टेन एपल्स इन वन आवर बट यू हैव टू एट द एंड फाइंड लाइक इन वन आवर इन वन आवर इफ ही कैन ईट फोर एपल्स and in one hour he can eat 10 apples and you find a uh, minimum number of hours required here let's say 10 uh, sorry let's say 5 and the minimum number of hours required here also 5 then you have to choose the minimum one minimum value of t okay so this is what you have to remember right so we could have chosen 10 but we will not choose because it is means and that you have to choose the minimum of t okay so that's like what we will do we'll uh, search in using the binary search process okay so now what we'll do we have uh, chosen the maximum value as the value of r and the value of result so now what we'll do we'll use a while loop and in using while loop we'll check if until or unless the left value is not equal to or less than equal to right then do something that is here we will at first assign the value of mid is equal to left plus right by 1 uh, by 2 and then we'll using a for loop where uh, we'll get uh, using the for loop what we will get that is uh, here we will check here we will check the value of t or value of uh, the mid okay so here we will get the total hours required to eat the apple okay total hours required to eat the apple so let me just show the sample sorry let me show the in code so that it will be easier to understand okay so let me show you the python solution so i have already checked and it's fine so at first let me show the main function so here we have taken the value of like number of integers required for the array and this is the empty array where we have initialized nothing and here using the for loop we are getting the value of array like number of uh, elements and here the k is the hours the maximum hours uh, which is mentioned here as 5 and this is the output okay so uh, here we just printed the value which is written by this function okay let me show the function so as i have mentioned the left value is the minimum value and the right value is the maximum value okay and maximum value of the array and result is equal to we at first assume that the result will be the maximum value okay then we are to what we are doing using while loop we are doing now binary search right so for that until and unless the left is not equal to right or less than equal to right what we are doing we are initializing the mid value as equal to left plus right by 2 and we initialize the total hours is equal to 0 okay because using the for loop we will We will update the total hours each time, right? In the each while loop, we will update the value of total hours as equal to zero because here we will update the value of total hours, right? So let's just wait till then so that it will be more clear. Okay. So for num in array, what we are doing? Total hours is equal to total hours plus num plus mid minus one by mid. What we are doing here? That is, we are doing nothing but what let me just clarify it more we are doing nothing but so these are the array right these are the array elements so what we are doing so at first the first value is 2 second value is 4 6 8 10 okay so what we are doing in this line that is nothing but we are dividing the first value 2 by the mid what is the mid that is the mid value here left plus right by 2 so that is 2 sorry one is the left value right so left is equal to 1 plus right is equal to max value so that is 10 so 1 plus 10 is equal to 11 by 2 that is 
5 right so 5 will be uh, divided by that uh, 2 will be divided by 5 okay 2 will be divided by 5 then in the next iteration in the next iteration uh, it will be updated as 4 so 2 will be updated as, as 4 6 will be updated as 6 then uh, uh, 6 will be updated as 8 8 will be updated as 10 so this way it will check and it will give the total hours required for to eat that okay and after the for loop it will check if the total hours is less than equal to k if less than equal to k then the results will be updated and the right value will be made minus one so it should be updated right because uh, this right uh, this was right and the right value should be made minus one okay so why because we have to check all the values we could have returned here everything but we are not doing because we have to check all the values uh, so that we can get the minimum value required okay we can get a solutions for this case as well but we will not check that because we need a minimum value right so at the end what is the minimum value we have to return that okay so then uh, in the next iteration in the next value of uh, left uh, next iteration of while loop we will again check the next cases for that the left value will be different right value will be different so i hope guys you understood a little bit so let me just run it and let me show if this is producing right output or not so for the value of 5 and 2 4 6 8 and 10 the value should be uh, let me number hours is 5 so value should be, uh, be 10 okay and for the first sample input that was what four three six seven eleven eight so four three six seven eleven eight and output should be four as expected right so i hope you understood guys so if you understood then please let me know in the comment section and if you didn't understand then also comment down i'll try to assist you in the comment section and if you want to me to upload more content of zeta then let me know in the comment section as well thank you